how does one prepare and consume crumpets? Now, I know some of you like these new fangled crumpets, like these square ones that fit in the tofu, and those rectangular ones that tear in half. Not this little bunny. I like the plain ordinary round ones. Now, one first gets, one first stokes and fans the embers of the fire in the firebox to a soft, glowing cherry red. If you're lucky enough to have a fireplace, it can be very warm, inviting, as well as comfortable. First, you get your prolonged, your long toasting fork and bravely step forward, paling your chosen crumpet on, on the tongs front first, first warming it through to a golden brown, and holding it to the fire, warming it to an exciting brown, golden brown on both sides. Make sure one has one fireproof gloves on, as one does not want to taste fingers as well. With fireproof gloves, gently throw the crumpet off the tongue, and lay it face up on a warm plate. On a warm plate. While it's still piping hot, one applies gentle qualities uh, salted butter. None of this homogenized margarine, or this new fangled stock butter, just plain butter for me. Now I know some of you like your jams, like your strawberries, oh, and your plums, and your apricots, but not for this little bunny. No, while they're still piping hot, I apply liberal quantities of honey, running into every crack and crevice. Now, now I know some of you like your black box, yellow box, grey box, and some of you wild bush honey. But for myself, I like the plain old eucalyptus to melt to me. The river red gum honey for me. While still hot, tear open and consume while dripping with honey. Now I know there is a bewildering array of kinds of honey available in Australia, and some of them are quite exciting. So today I thought I would taste test it for you. Uh, now my father liked the exotic leatherwood honey coming from overseas, you know, in a place called uh, Tasmania. And the flavour, like the place in the quiet taste, I'm not sure if it's the extreme fresh air blowing across the Atlantic from the west. There is, of course, the slightly salty taste of possible whale, dolphin, seal, and even a hint of penguin floating on the top of the waves, press on the wind, may well be the reason for the exotic flavour of the leatherwood honey. Anyway, now back to our taste testing of our chosen honey. Uh, uh, first up we're going to have the yellow box honey. Oh, yes. Oh, there is an air of mystery, a feel of the blue-grey leaves rustling in the warm inviting breeze. The air is filled with the slight washing perfume and the slight mystic and exotic aftertaste rolls off the tongue, just like a little time. Oh, this is great. Now, uh, now I will try the black box honey. With black box honey, the balmy heat pulses through the grey blue foliage, crest of the black trunks into the truly memorable experience. Oh, oh, yes, I feel the deep rhythm and exotic flavours that defend the palate quickening one's very heartbeat with strong taste, like one can only get from a good mature red wine. Now we move on to the more exotic flavour, the wild bush honey. Oh God, one is immediately carried away to misty covered mountains or to the exotic hot pulsing desert of the Never Never. If you like your honey wild and spicy, Adventurous, well, this is the one for you. There's a hint of the hot stillness of the misty covered mountains, the warmth of the open bushland, the feel of the exotic desert of the never never. The flavour lingers gently like exotic perfumes on the palate. Oh, oh, this is a truly experience, not to be taken lightly, but truly to be remembered. <coughs> now, We'll get to my favourite, the good old red gum honey. Red gum honey is like a true honey, 
Like its namesake, it stands out above the rest. Like a beacon in time, one is immediately carried away to distant times where the gentle flowing rivers lazily pass the majestic trees. Standing as sentinels in time in the warm, in scented breezes, this is one honey one will always come back to with familiar flavours that comfort and reassure and the public. Yes, oh yes, more please. Another one of these dog honey. Mountain honey. Well, this is a new mountain honey. So very invigorating. Stimulating. Yes, every time I try mountain honey, my passions rise on exotic aromas and my heart almost misses the beat. Boom, buddy, boom, buddy, boom, boom, boom. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, when I've had enough. Enough is enough. Pleasure. Honey. So exciting to the patients. Oh. Ah, well, something more to date now. The leatherwood honey. Now, this is an, this is a truly an exotic honey. We all, we will be tasting today. As well as it comes from overseas. Yes, that's right. That's right, from that island called Tasmania. This strange island in the south of Australian mainland. A place where it constantly rains in the valleys. And the trees are covered with mosses and ferns. Dripping with water which can be truly an acquired taste, in these places grows the mystical, magical leatherwood, buffered by the westerlies blowing all the way from South America, wafting on the breeze in distinctive bouquet of whale, seal, dolphin and penguin. This all adds to the distinctive uh, bouquet of this honey, with its truly exotic flavours that are carried in on the sea breezes. A memorable